Um, you might notice that I've changed the title slightly from what else beyond ethics to what else beyond computer ethics. Uh, the reason is that we are building on the results of uh, our work package one, which is what uh, Vico has just um, presented. And there's another work package which isn't present here because maybe they're w w uh, preparing for the football match tonight, um, which is a team from the University of Delft headed by um, um, Jérôme van Hoven, a well-known computer ethicist, who are looking at um, what computer ethics have to say about uh, these uh, technologies that we are investigating. So they're mapping things with um, very interesting programs um, from uh, bibliometrics and um, so, uh, and that's one of our inputs, so I'm, that's why I'm saying, I'm saying beyond computer ethics. Okay, so this is not, uh, just use this I think, because it's easier. Okay. Um, so I, uh, I'm working, uh, I'm leading work package three, which is on uh, evaluation. That means that we're looking at uh, the work done by work packages one and two, and are trying to um, set up a list of um, technologies according to the urgency with which they should be treated. Um, but we'll come to that later. Um, the parts of this work package are gender issues, legal issues and the concerns of the new member states, um, which I don't think Ivan is talking about, but um, which is part of his work package. Uh, then official ethics, um, ethical committees and expert panels, and finally, which is my own field, technology assessment. And then I'm going to say something about how we're, we intend to bring things together. Okay, so I have to do this again. Um, where uh, Etika is strongly um, oriented towards the computer ethics community, uh, we bring in the additional elements expected to uh, contribute to the aim of producing valid and actionable, actionable policy recommendations. Uh, for example, we are used to working for parliaments and um, decision-making bodies in, in governments and uh, usually, um, well, we don't, don't tell them what to do, but we say which options um, people have. Uh, we have a team working on gender at the University of Wuch. Um, the ECINT, uh, which is easier than saying it was Karuli Public Policy Research Institute, is working on the law, on legal aspects, and the special interests of the new member states. Um, then we have uh, a group from the Steinbeis University in Berlin working on official ethics, which I'll explain in a couple of minutes. And then I'm um, from the Karlsruhe Institute of Technology, which has a stand outside, incidentally. And we're working on technology assessment. Alex is uh, standing at the wall um, uh, and uh, has distributed the questionnaires. So, um, the gender issues. Um, here we're concerned with the principle of equality of the sexes. Um, the colleagues working there are con concentrating on actual behavior and impacts on members of the different sexes and changes in the discourse on gender, which is um, one of the effects of um, inf information and, communi and communication technologies, that the whole discourse on gender is being changed due to um, virtual identities and uh, the existence of um, uh, things like avatars and uh, whatever else you can think of, and also of um, differences in the perceptions of women working in ICT. Um, it uh, seeks to, uh, the work package seeks to identify aspects of ICT uh, promising greater equality. Um, we're focusing on design and production access to existing and emerging technologies and applications. That means do women have equal access to these things? Um, the, over, the aim is to overcome the digital divide in, in this respect. There are other digital divides, obviously, and to formulate recommendations to policymakers and ICT professionals. Um, the existence of gender concerns um, related to any of these technologies will automatically uh, give the sorry three minutes, three minutes the um, uh, high priority to the issue. 
Okay, so I'd have to speed up a little. Um, Ivan will present his, uh, this ex element. Um, uh, one short word on the new member states. Um, we have this phenomenon of uh, the steamrollering of Western countercultures uh, via ICTs, which we um, think is a, an important issue related to ICTs and which um, we maybe should uh, seek to avoid. Okay. Um, the official ethics, we have a partner from uh, Berlin who um, is actually involved in the European Group on Ethics. I think Philippe might be talking about this. In Work Package 3 Ethics, we will be covering activities by official and semi-official bodies on the ethics of technology, such as the EU level, uh, the member states and the regions and so on. And the viewpoints of these bodies will be contrasted with the results from the computer ethics community, which is what is being done in Delft. Um, ethical evaluation is based on the resources used by um, the EGE, the European Group on Ethics, including international declarations and the underlying principles of ethical reason expressed in these documents. So now I come to my own bit. Um, technology assessment um, is a, something which is you sometimes have to explain. Um, it's uh, by nature interdisciplinary. I'm a sociologist, but I work together with physicists and um, natural scientists. The goals are comprehensive and uh, timely analyses of the impacts of technologies and the conditions of their application. The results which we produce are directed at decision makers, mainly in science and technology policy. We do work for the German and um, uh, European parliaments, but also for ministries in Germany. Um, we don't uh, tell them what to do, but we just try to um, outline uh, what would be the impact if uh, technology was developed in such and such a way, and if you regulate it in such and such a way, uh, what would be the result? That's what we try to identify. And we give special emphasis to uh, the identification of unintended effects and indirect effects, uh, which usually only can be visible um, after technology has been applied for some time. So we try to extrapolate from that point of view or are drawing in part on experience with other technologies which we think are similar. The goal of technology is to consider the viewpoints of all societal groups which are directly and indirectly affected by technological applications. Um, we're also adding a, a viewpoint um, we're, uh, from uh, the uh, agenda of the hacker community, which we think is a vanguard in some senses. That means the hackers are, uh, are more aware of the ethical impact. Uh, the aspects of some technologies than, um, for example, uh, uh, the computer ethics community. Um, our, the basis of, of our work will be a review of technology as, um, existing technology assessment projects and literature on ICTs um, by uh, organizations of which we are a member. For example, is the European Parliamentary Technology Assessment Network. Um, much uh, technology assessment is problem problem driven rather than technology driven. That means that we don't have uh, many studies on specific technologies, but we have to um, sort out what um, existing projects have had to say which might be uh, related to um, uh, the uh, topics which we've selected for, for ETICA. Um, in, uh, this is bringing it all together, so each, package, uh, our, each pack, partner in the work package ex uh, assesses whether these ICTs which have been described by Ivaiko uh, raise critical issues from their own viewpoint, that means gender, law, ethics or TA. Um, the assessments are going to be synthesized on a, with a fiche on each uh, technology indicating our rankings, that means is it an issue um, from our viewpoint. And um, we will try to uh, consolidate the ranking by consensus. Um, we intend to validate this as an expert workshop um, where experts will be asked to give their own rankings, which are summarized before the workshop. That means they receive a, um, a synthesized ranking. And uh, the workshop will provide the opportunity to discuss and modify the expert rankings. Um, we will have 
separate reports on each aspect of the evaluation. These will be combined into synthesis, synthesis reports. Sorry. And uh, the report um, is going to be reviewed by experts prior to what we, when we publish it. Okay. So I think that's all for me.